Hey everybody, what's up? It's Laura Nichols here. Um, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous Sunday. We just had a big storm here yesterday and I'm just um, coming from a local event. Actually, it's the third biggest draft horse show in like the northern continent. It's a big deal. People come from all over the place to see it. Um, for those of you who've been following along, you know that one of my passions is horses and I work with rescue horses and do some um, horse assisted therapy with families and Anyway, what a cool day I had out. I got to go hang out with like the biggest horse that was out there, um, which was pretty cool. I got some pictures with him. Huge, massive, amazing animal. And what all, the other thing that was cool is that um, a couple of our rescues um, actually placed in this show, which is awesome because, you know, they're, they're rescue horses. They came from a Premarin lab, which is... Um, it's a fertility drug that they harvest and they use draft horses because they're bigger. Um, and they harvest this drug from these mares and then they don't treat them very well or they auction them off for food, you know, to be slaughtered for food. Anyway, so we have a couple um, <clears throat> rescues that have been at the program since they were like three months old and and they were in some events this weekend and actually placed, you know, and some of these other draft horses are like, you know, swanky, swanky. They come from, you know, long bloodlines and all that good stuff. So it's cool to see a couple of our our kiddos place um, so yeah I'm just coming from that and I'm you can see I'm on a bumpy road driving right now I'm heading up into the hills to um, spend some time with friends and and that's kind of the point of this video is like you know I'm becoming because of the hard work I'm doing you know creating this business and growing my dream <clears throat> uh oh skinny road big truck anyways because of this hard work that I'm doing make sure I get by. Hi. Thank you. Um, let's see. Oh, I'm getting to craft more and more like what my life, what I want it to look like, like how I'm spending my time, you know. It's, again, I've been working really hard, but nobody gets into business for themselves working from home to spend, to be trapped in front of their computer all day necessarily either, you know. So getting to get up and go to the gym and get exercise and take my time, hang out with my dogs sleep down on a Sunday, go play with amazing horses, like all those huge horses all in one place was so cool. And I'm gonna go spend time with friends and when I go home tonight I'll spend a couple hours working, I'll do a vlog and some Facebook posts and talk with some folks and uh, you know work on some relationship building and all that good stuff but maybe today isn't like the most ideal day ever. I mean it's it's pretty close to perfect I'll tell you what but um, that's my encouragement to you is to like think about you know what What's your design for your life, and what does your perfect day look like? I've written what I've written mine down. Actually, it's part of the business plan that we do through our prosperity team. Um, it's a really cool exercise, actually, and it helps. That business plan actually goes to a person who checks it out because they're going to be representing you and making phone calls for you. So it's it's an important thing to do for your you know just for your own personal growth, but also it's a cool you know great tool for your business. So. Anyways, but, you know, thinking through, like, what would that day look like? You know, would you sleep in? Would you get up early? Would you have breakfast at home? Would you go out? Would you um, be by yourself? Would you be with other people? What would your perfect day look like? And the point of that activity is that your perfect day doesn't have to be something that you're never going to achieve. In fact, it's probably not as far out of your reach as you think it might be. So, I, my days are becoming more and more perfect all the time. And I love it. And I want that for other people too. I want other people to experience what I'm experiencing. So my encouragement to you, my challenge is um, if you're not on a path that can take you to making, you know, having that perfect day, then get yourself on that path. Click the button below this, excuse me, the link below this video and um, make that first step. You know, that's the first step is making a decision that may make you nervous, but that means that you're making it important decision, you know. So click that link, get in, and um, let's get you started on the way to having your perfect day be every day.